Well, forget Joe Exotic. Tonight, it's all about Joel Exotic. <laughs> Bless his heart. We're talking about <laughs> Joel Eisenbaum, of course. He's mm. been on the hunt investigating tigers kept as pets all across our state. As many as 3,000 of them. And Joel found out there's not much in the way of laws to prevent big cats from being kept as pets. And right now at 6 o'clock, is H-Town turning into Tiger Town after yet? It really is the holy grail of local news stories. The irresistible danger of wild animals roaming our streets. Victor Cuevas is out of Fort Bend County Jail again. Just as alluring are the people associated with these creatures. I mean, really, who keeps a tiger around? Well, yeah, he does. But who else? Y'all knocked on my door, correct? Searching for a tiger? Okay, I'm just making sure. Okay. No, there's not. About a month ago on the city's northwest side, Trisha Meyer had quite a little visit from police. They even brought out the chopper. It was circling and circling and circling. This helicopter just keeps putting the spotlight on me. HPD got a tip that Meyer was keeping a tiger in her house. That's illegal within city limits without a permit. Turns out there was no actual evidence Meyer had a tiger here. Not true. Not true. Never been true? Never been true. Never had a tiger here. Never had a tiger here. Fire admits she's kept tigers in other homes around Houston, but she says only for short periods of time, as she trained them, hopefully not to eat the neighbors. At any rate, it's always been outside city limits, Meyer says, and that's key. Because in Texas, outside of local ordinances like city laws, keeping wild animals is largely fair game. In Texas, laws are, in general, um, not, not great, especially since there's not a statewide um, ban on the private possession of these animals. Here in Texas, uh, a verifiable fact, there's about 3,000 pet tigers here in the state of Texas. And the Houston SPCA has rounded up all sorts of exotics, like Betsy the Bear, this bobcat, even a bald eagle. And listen to this. All the different we try to work with Texas. Texas. The people we talk to tell us a lot of the folks who own these animals know each other and help each other out, which may explain why it was so hard to track down India the tiger. Nobody could find him. So what is happening? It's just people who have some degree of wherewithal and are like, yeah, man, I can keep your tiger. There, there's that element. Again, there's also the criminal element of, you know, they want something showy or flashy. Exhibit A may be Victor Cuevas, who may or may not be the previous owner of India the Tiger. He was arrested by police for evading, but he's also got a pending murder charge. How the heck do these folks get tigers anyway? For the buyers, there's no license required. No, not to, not to buy. Turns out potentially dangerous exotic animals aren't really that tough to buy. I mean, just Google it. They're out there. But animal rights groups argue they shouldn't be. So you maintain these aren't dangerous animals? Uh, they're not dangerous animals for people who are experienced and trained as like myself. Federal legislation called the Big Cat Public Safety Act would make it illegal for private individuals to own big cats. But the big cats in Washington haven't made it law yet. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.